All right, so here we're going to jog the LRMate robot. This is an LRMate 200 ID robot. And so this is an R30 ID controller. So you can see here's the R30 ID controller underneath. And it's already in T1 mode so that we can jog it. You can't see that very well, but it's already in T1 mode. And we're booted up. Our teach pendant is in the on position. So our teach pendant is in the on position. And you can see there we're getting a fault. Okay, see the red light is a fault. So we're getting a fault because the dead man switch on the back, we have the two dead men switches. We have to press one of those. So when we press that, the fault goes away. If I release it, I, the fault comes back and I get the dead man switch released error. But if I press it in, it should go away. All right, now there's a variable setting. If the variable set, you may also have to hit the reset button after pressing in the dead man switch. All right, once we do that, we're going to put our thumb on the shift key. So we're going to hold the dead man. The green light goes away. And then we're going to put our thumb on the shift key. And we can then jog the robot. So what we need to do here, uh, we can change the speed. Shows right up here in the, the top right corner the percent of full speed. And so right now it's at 30%. May not show up very well on the video there, but it's at 30%. And we can change that speed. And as we get close to stuff, we want to change that speed, lower that speed. Now, I'm um, in joint mode right beside the percentage there. It's got a, a reversed font there, and it shows me that I'm currently in joint. So when I select joint, it's uh, going to jog. So here's the uh, teach pendant. So hopefully we can see it on the screen a little bit better. And so we've got the... Um, the dead man is released right now. So we have the fault. If I press in the dead man, that fault should go away. And so it's all green. And I hold the shift key. Here's the percentage. Notice as you uh, adjust the percentage, you can see that in green, the speed is going to go faster or slower. Right beside that percentage, it says joint. That means when you press your jog switches, you have your J1 minus J1 plus J1 minus J2 plus J2. So it's only going to be changing one uh, axis at a time. Now you can actually maybe hold a couple of buttons down and change a couple of them at the same time. If you hit cord, it'll change from to jog frame to world frame to tool frame or user frame. All right. So uh, world is uses the X, Y, Z. So plus X would be coming straight out toward us. Plus Y is going straight to the right. Uh, minus Y back to the left. Plus Z is straight up. And minus Z is straight down. Again, if we speed it up, it'll move much faster. And the other X, Y, Z with the little arrows on them is for doing the yaw, pitch, and roll. All right, so those are our buttons. And remember to jog, you have to have the teach pendant on. You've got to have the controller in T1 mode. You've got to be pressing the dead man. One of the, you don't have to hold both of them, but just one of the dead men. And then the matching shift. So if you are left-handed, you probably want to use your right hand to hold the teach pendant, press in that button, and then you hold that shift, and then you can use your left hand for the controls if you prefer that. Okay. If you press the dead man switch in too hard, it'll also fault.
Okay. So that way, that's kind of a emergency condition. If you kind of get wedged between the robot and some other thing, then and you can't let go of the dead man, and you're pressing it too hard, it'll actually stop also. So there's how we jog the robot.